All right, cool. Next news. Next news again is out of Germany. A German official says he cannot recommend Jews wear head coverings in some parts of the country. Felix Klein, the government's anti-Semitism commissioner, was quoted Saturday as saying, I cannot recommend to Jews that they wear the skull cap at all times everywhere in Germany. He didn't elaborate on what places and times might be risky. Israel's president said Sunday he is shocked by a German official's comments that he wouldn't advise Jews to wear skull, skull caps in parts of the country which is drawing mixed reactions from home. Government statistics released earlier this month showed that the number of anti-Semitic and anti-foreigner incidences rose in Germany in the last year. So uh, oh, this actually pulled a lot of attention from a lot of different people across Germany, Israel, um, and surrounding places where they're shocked. This guy would say, I can't recommend that Jews wear their skull caps at all times everywhere in germany well i mean like right now germany has a huge rise um in crime against jews and um, because of muslim because of the rise of the muslim population right and then klein the guy who made this comment specifically said he made this comment knowing it would be edgy so people would start talking about why jews can't do these things so he, did, he himself didn't say mention muslim or anything he just no. said like Oh, the Jews are not safe anymore. And he's like, I'm not going to say why, but wink, right. wink, not like you guys know why, right? Um, and he just knew, like, I'm going to say this and I'm, and I know that people are going to comment and mention why, right? Is that right? But he's well, not he, being, like, he thinks this is edgy. Like, he's not even mentioning why and he thinks that's edgy. Right, exactly. Well, and that's the thing. He wants people, he wanted this to spark outrage with a lot of people saying, uh, you know, well, how can this guy sit around and say the Jews can't, shouldn't do this? They shouldn't do this. Well, I, he is doing it for the safety of the people. And if they won't listen to him and if they won't listen to statistics, because maybe statistics are racist, um, then he, there, there's a big problem. And he needs people to start debating and talking about why it wouldn't be safe for a Jew to wear their skull cap in certain places in Germany. But to me, but I'm actually, so who is this guy? It's Felix. So he's the government, the German, German government's anti-Semitism yeah. uh, commissioner. Okay. So this guy, in this article, does it, does it say Muslim anywhere in this article? No. No. So because he's scared to say it, right? Because it's Germany and you can't say stuff. Wrong. Okay. Can you double check? I'm going to double check, it's <laughs> but it, I don't recall it. Well, it's not in the summary that Ace the Atheist Republic team prepared for us. Right. But that and I, I the, read and research the news and I don't recall. Yeah. Yeah. Like over right now, I didn't see anywhere. Nothing. Anywhere. Nothing. Okay. So the guy is scared. The guy knows that he's probably going to lose his job if he if he says like, yeah, Jews are not safe in Germany because 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 you know what like because, but no if you say that you're gonna lose your job um right. let me see german official obvious anti-semite what no i guess they forgot to never to never forget i'm I'm surprised nobody in the co on, in our comment section is mentioning this way so oh here germany is no they didn't have enough to mm, nope 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 who so a lot of people are not pointing out why this is happening huh interesting so nobody or like that chat, right. um they're talking about why it's happening right now um renzo is saying it's partly because of muslims but the recent rise of ultra nationalist right is also to blame for making anti-semitism more acceptable in germany right but it's 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 a it's mostly because of so Renzo is saying it's partly because of Muslims. I would argue it's mostly because of the Muslims. Again, hashtag not all Muslims, right? But, I mean, people, I don't know. If anybody denies this, then I don't know what to tell you. The amount of anti-Semitic views is way, 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 way higher in, a Mus in, the, in by average, in Muslim communities than... European communities, okay? It just is, okay? I don't know, don't, you could deny that, but that's just a fact, okay? So, yes, European communities also have anti-Semitic views, especially in the alt-right, but it's the average of that is way higher in the Muslim communities. So, 
when you say the average is higher, that doesn't mean every Muslim is anti-Semitic. That just means more Muslims means more anti-Semitic views. That's just that's just fact. I don't know. People are going to get upset over that, but that's just that's just how it is. Moose is saying, why do you think all this hate is happening? Uh, well, Moose, that's part of human nature, tribalism. Um, I don't know. How much time do you have? But it's less than before, Moose. It's not like, I mean, this is, has been part of human history forever. And in fact, it's, it's less than ever before in our history. So don't be too upset about that. Renzo is saying, in fact, the German government blamed the rise of anti-Semitism on, on the far right. Yeah, because the German government doesn't, is, uh, too scared of their Muslim population to, to blame it on Muslims. Uh, Moose is saying Trump encourages, Moose, what does this got to do with this news? Trump encourages hate. Um, this has nothing to do with Germany right now can please keep the comment on what we're talking about moose is very U uh, com u.s focused everything has to turn back to u.s um john brown is saying i think they should address the anti-semitism rather than tell jews not to openly display their faith um i mean this guy is just if you just want if you want i mean they can, you could do both right i mean this guy is not like it's, it's not blaming the victim kind of thing, right? Like if I tell you to be just be careful, there are dangerous people out there. Does that mean that I think we shouldn't address the dangerous people out there? No, I mean, if you think people are going to be safer without uh, this this head covering, you might you might want to tell them because you care for them. I mean, come on, like we can't just because this guy is saying that, hey, uh, so why he shouldn't say that if if he thinks that without that you're going to be safer, he should avoid saying it, um, because the only thing you can say is we should fight anti anti Semitic views in Germany. I mean you can do both at the same time. I don't see why why one should stop the other, right? Like I I think a lot of people are too uh, quick to think that the victim is being asked to do much. Just because safety concerns are important, right? So, for example, if you teach, if you teach uh, women, uh, if if women uh, to you know how to self defense, does that mean that you're not blaming ra rapists, right? Do right. You, should you stop teaching women self defense because the only thing you're allowed to do is to just only, um, at, you know, fight ra fight against people raping? You know, do you know what I mean? That no, you could you could do that at the same time. You could like fight that and also teach people how to defend themselves, right? There was a comment that Renzo is saying it's mostly the far right. Okay, here, according to the German Interior Minister, who has been very critical of Merkel's refugee policy, said that ninety percent of anti-Semitism crimes were by far right groups. Okay, but here's the thing: when you focus on the far right, it's kind of like going to Muslims and just focusing on ice, you know, ISIS or something like that, right? So instead of saying like Europeans, you compare Europeans to Muslim, you know, Muslim country population, right? That would be, if you compare European you know, population to the Muslim population, then you will see more anti-Semitic views among Muslim population. But if you then focus on the alt-right and then com compare that to Muslims, you're probably going to get see of, I mean, that's one of the definitions of being an alt right is to being anti Semitic. So you're going to see a higher percentage of anti Semitic views in the alt right. Okay. So, but, but, I mean, but Rizzo's comment is fair. So it's good to point out that a lot of it is coming from alt right, but it's not mo most of the population of Europe is your people that are European. So obviously, you know, if you see more anti-Semitic views in total number-wise, if you want to compare that, yeah, there's more anti-Semitic views in Europeans in Europe, but there's also more of everything European in Europe. Uh, there are more people that are driving in Europe that are European. There are more people that are tying their shoes that are European in Europe, right? But as a percentage of population-wise, the m people from Muslim population country in Europe you're going to see a higher percentage of anti-Semitic views if you just focus on, Mus on on them compared to the rest of Europe. So it's not fair if you just focus on alt-right because that would be like focusing 
within Muslim population, if you just focus on like Wahhabis or something like that, right? Uh, or ISIS or something like that, right? So if you just focus to a specific part of the European uh, community, then the percentages are going to look different. Total number wise, of course, you're going to see it more um, from, you know, white people or European people. But percentage wise, I might be wrong. Correct me. Percentage wise, I think if you just compare European, not just all right, with Muslim populations, you're going to see higher amount of anti-Semitic views among Muslim population. Does that make sense, Ali? What I said? It makes perfect sense. Oh. It's just it's going to be it, bottom line is what this is going to come down to is who does the research. Right. And and, I, and, and what? Their motivation behind it. Right. I think that you, you'll you probably be able to find research that would prove your side and his side. So it's... Right. But And also, they, um, uh, it's very hard to find the right data because there's a lot of agendas between even, you know, some of right. this research, right? Um, but everything I say it could be completely wrong. So don't just take that as you're like, oh, this is what I'm it saying is true. Be, but it's also something to take into, into account. consideration. Like, and I'm happy to be proven wrong. And if I'm proven wrong, I'll be like, yeah, I was wrong. Sorry. Thank you for correcting me. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.